Oh, that's fine. Okay, hello, people out there. This is Daddy Harry Potter and the pr and then. Hi guys. Okay, now I'm calling a prisoner basketball instead of um, Super Mario Galaxy 2, and the Goblet of Fire playthrough part two. Um, and we are going to the first place after the first tutorial-like levels of stuff, and you get to select your character now. And those right there is skipping now, but unless you have any card. Another Harry single Roman drawing cutscene. Met Mad Eye Moody for an extra defense against the dark arts lesson. Hi. Uh, so now this is kind of like. Wondering why I brought stuff. you here, are you? This is where you learn how to defend yourselves. Get to it! And remember, constant vigilance. How are we going to get over there? Jinx it. I have no idea how jinxing a bucket works. Make sure you pick up the blue beans. They'll help you uh, with your casting. Now, go through once that you do door that, the then you can room. get through that door over there. And you will want to run around the splash room a little bit, because there are a lot of beans in there and stuff. Oh, the camera angles in this game are just terrible, too. Keep moving! Sometimes when there's a lot of stuff around, you will run into stuff that aren't there. Like, you'll start running. A few feet away from the wall, and you will get stuck on the wall, even though you're not running into it. Ugh. It's like that in uh, Order Phoenix too. By the way, speaking of Order Phoenix, um, we're not going to be doing that one next because Harry has been wanting a break from being recorded. We haven't got all day. Microphone. The ones and zeros in my computer that compose Harry are starting to complain that it's been a break. <laughs> I don't know. That didn't make any sense. Microphone! This side here, so you gotta get rid of the dumb frogs. Cast your jinxes in quick succession. Brilliant! Wicked! So, is it here that took me a little while to figure out? Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right, you've got um. Very good. Wingardium Leviosa, and then they've gotta do stuff with it like that. They're cool, just sometimes have a force. See some more of that. I think it's Orbis like four out of five times. Me and my cousin used to call Orvis um, the toilet gym. Because that's what it looks, that's what it looks like, like what happens to them when you use it. They go down the toilet Have you been practicing? Don't ask. Hey, well done. So, they will just keep spawning and falling out of the ceiling. Uh, you just go through the door once you can, or... Try summoning it with bean the trick Axio charm. <laughs> Not bad. So here is just, even though you know Axio already, you they're just telling you how to use it anyway. By Moody is Axio. Anyway. Nothing like wizard sweets to boost energy. Mm. So, anyway, you've got to collect all the stuff to go over there to that book. They finally caught on on the PC versions of the game, so you're supposed to get spell books to learn spells. Instead of just, here's the spell, here's the word, use it. Yeah. Two, there's two spells that you wouldn't have The Aqua Erecto spell! Like five. Wicked! Aqua Erecto. So, this is just the, um, it's like a level up system. I don't know if, I don't think your, um, spells getting more powerful or anything when you level up, but it's just there. A ranking. And sometimes if you do stuff, they give you cards. I don't know exactly what it is that makes them give you cards, but... Can win the Hello, Kelly. Feel free to commentate. Must survive three very dangerous times. Your three champions um, are... Okay. Victor Krupp. Fleur Delacour. And lastly, Cedric Diggory. Yay, let's put propane in the goblet and set fire to it. Couldn't find what? Brian is looking for third for something. I think that's his voodoo doll. Oh wait, no, that's... Here. I feel stupid now. So anyway, Harry just got irrationally chosen as the fourth champion in the... Um... Trials of Terminal. They're assuming... They're really assuming that you read the book and seen the movie when they made this game. Because if you haven't, you are probably going to be... Really bad at this. Potter, 
If you're to survive the Triwizard okay. Tournament, I suggest you start collecting Triwizard Shields. like, well, what's this random and piece remember, of cup that somebody put propane and set videos. fire to? Wait, did I say random piece of cup? Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah, you can choose your character who you're going to play as. I like to cycle around them so, they, so all of them get even number of beans. Usually it's the one that you're playing as that collects most of the beans. Um... Very good. The artificial intelligence is like, oh yay, there's fire, let's go right into it and lose half our health. There are things that you can um, get to give you more health, but the cards, you can equip certain cards, some of them give you more health, some of them like make you cast two drinks because that one's so very fun. Anyway, you see Ron's um, water spout is um, the kind of starts going out after a while, you just move the arrow keys around. To fix that, Don't I think it's um you gotta fire. get it to center that like it'll start moving like sideways and you gotta get it to like, move center. I don't know. It's really stupid. It doesn't always work. But anyway, here we just gotta put out all twelve of these stupid fires. Very good. And someday. Okay. So now, this this big black thing wasn't there before. Are you all right? Did Ron even take any damage from that? You people. Yeah, the bigger fire you've got to um, use uh, Harry and Manya, whoever your other uh, players. By the way, the red beans uh, will give you, um, you two HP back if you need it. Oh, uh, well, I remember you from the last game. It's not like you were dangerous or anything. Yeah, here they actually here the salamanders actually like, cause problems because I don't Try know. The salamander they spit more fire at you it. than the other guys did. The nice other guys are just kind of standing remember, there and, like, constant vigilance. What? Oh, that was lap fourth, by the way. Lap 4 is not a transfiguration thing in this game, it's um, ow! It's um, jinx that you can turn stuff ow! into... The salamander, you're supposed to put them out first, if you cast Aquarocto on them for long enough, they'll turn blue, and they won't be able to use fire, but if you get rid of them, if you jinx them quick enough, they won't be able to anyway. So, I always do that. So anyway, spam there. Pretty much if you just um, spam the X key on the keyboard for the entire game and then you walk around where it looks like you can walk around, you'll be good. Sometimes there will be puzzles where you have to use C and Z and stuff like that, but... The beans do try to run away from you, by the way, if you haven't noticed. <coughs> so... There are these fire jets now that will act like these salamanders. Except they can't move in their part of the wall and you just uh, use aqua vector to get rid of them. The blue beans by the way um boost your um the stuff of that's down in the bottom that says um use S. Axiom! By the way. It's real annoying. Sometimes when like you'd like to be able to spam your magic and you would like the blue stuff to go up you can't find a blue bean to save your life but then when it's all full you're going to get overloaded with blue beans same thing with the red ones if you really need the HP and you would like to find some red beans you will not be able to find any but if you're already at your max HP there are just going to be you are going to be drowning in them there are other things for your HP there are, there are um, cauldron cakes and pumpkin pasties which used currency in the last game but now you use them for HP like you did in the other games for GameCube and PlayStation and them. I'm sure you recall Salamander. What were the people that designed the PC versions of those games? Like, what are you thinking? Just running into those fire. And what's he even casting? Oh, okay, that was the fire. Good. I didn't want to be. You don't want to waste your time on the Salamander because they're just gonna turn red. There's better not be any more of those things here. They will respawn from the, um, from the fire, was like they did in the last game. Although sometimes you just get a salamander with nothing around it. 
for no reason. There are a few of those in the last game too, what am I talking about? Someday. Thank you. Yeah, you can put out the rest of those fires too, but... The music is pretty quiet in this game. I don't even know what it's really like, it's that quiet. <clears throat> anyway... I wonder how many uh, parts of commentary I'm gonna do today. Every time I turn around, there's a salamander just waiting to get me. you. Uh, Use the blue stuff. More than one this time, Ron. That's what I'm calling magic is extremist now. Magic is extremist. And it's like ten syllables. The blue stuff. Don't. Ron, don't run into it. See, that's the thing with the controls. It's laggy. You don't want it. So you can just go away. And you can just go away. And without a new jinx, that was a W. Excellent. Now, retrieve the shield. So anyway, in case you want health, even though it doesn't matter, because your um, health refills. This, by the way, is a challenge shield. Which you will get if, um, they're the equivalent of, like, power stars. Shine sprites and all those. If you get a certain number of them, you can, um, oh, look, level up, yay. Even though it doesn't matter anything, if you, um, get, when you get enough challenge, Try wizard shields, and you can go and unlock more areas and find more stuff. And yeah, just like power stars. Anyway, goodbye.